JR to Leith Performance here. Lethal Headquarters, we're gonna go over our wiring harnesses for our turn style fuel systems. We've got two of them. We've got a dual pump setup and a triple pump setup. It can be used in our fuel system, any fuel system. It just helps with wiring your car to run the pumps in a return style fashion easily, okay? I get a lot of calls about this. My techs, they're always asking me, what do I do? I, I wanna explain it for everyone, one time. Put it up on the site so you guys understand. It's very easy to do and figure out to install this and run it, okay? So we're gonna start off with this, very simple. This bolts down to the lug on your power distribution box, okay? You got separate fusible links here. Each of these fusible links is gonna get crimped onto the buck connector to the 10 gauge wiring that's going to the relay. You're actually gonna slide heat shrink over it first before doing that, you know, cause you can't get the heat shrink over the wires once you've connected them. So you're gonna do that first. Crimp them, heat shrink them. That way they don't touch each other, short out, anything like that, okay? What this does is if there's a short in between your battery distribution box and these relays and the wire anywhere, it's gonna pop this fusible link cause it's rated at 20 amps per wire, okay? That's to protect the relays, anywhere in between the relay and a battery, all right? Then, like I said, your 10 gauge wiring, power from your battery is gonna be going to these relays right here, 40 amp relays, okay? This is, again, the most common thing I get asked about. What do I do with the wiring? What do I do with the relays? Simple, I mean, there's two things you gotta worry about right here, look. Black wires with lugs on them. It's pretty self-explanatory. These are ground for the relays. You're gonna ground them to the chassis at a proper grounding point on the 9904 Mustangs where the fuel pump driver module is. Ground it there on the 05 and up cars. Same thing, factory chassis ground with the ring terminals. The next thing, the only other thing we gotta worry about is a trigger wire for the relays. What this does, it actually allows the current that's going from your battery to pass through the relays, go down the wires, to your pumps, okay? So, on your car, depending on the year, you have a fuel pump driver module, FPDM, okay? You're gonna find the wire, it varies between uh, different vehicles, the colors, which I do have listed in our instru instructions on the website, okay? You're gonna actually cut that wire a few inches from the fuel pump driver module, and the wire that's actually leading back to the PCM, not still hanging off the fuel pump driver module, you're gonna connect to these blue wires right here right there. Put a uh, heat shrink over it, crimp it, seal it up, that's it, okay? This is how it works. When you key the car on now, in the on position, power then will flow from these wires from your power distribution box, okay, through the relays to your pumps. It's that simple, all right? Now, on the 9904 cars, the GTs, Mach 1s, and 034 Cobra, uh, 9904 Cobra, whatever it is, we offer a fuel system. Our fuel hat has a connector, uh, OEM six pin connector that's actually integrated into the fuel hat, right here. All right, not all of our uh, Division X uh, products have that, however, this one specifically does, okay? So, we make it very easy for you. This already comes on the wire harness kit for you guys running dual pump systems in the 9904 cars. All you're gonna do is, once you install our fuel hat, plug it in, all right, there, it's in, all right. And what do we have left? Two wires. Another big thing I get tons of calls about. I'm gonna clear it up for you right now. Your factory wiring that went down to your fuel hat that powered the pumps, okay, on 9904 GT Mach 1 and Cobra only has four wires, okay? There's two larger wires and two small wires. The larger wires on your factory setup are for your power and ground to the pumps. The two smaller wires are for ohm resistance for your level sender, okay? So when you clip off the wires at your factory fuel hat before installing ours, clip it at the hat a few inches away from the connector on the factory fuel hat. You've got your wiring hanging out. You're gonna peel that loom back and look at the wires. And the two big wires, you're not gonna do anything with because you're not using those anymore because the fuel pump driver module is not modulating any type of voltage to the pumps. We're using our wiring for the pumps. However, those two smaller wires are for your level sender, okay? Most of the time, the level sender wires are gonna be yellow and black. 
That's why we made ours yellow and black. You're gonna connect yellow to yellow, black to black, make sure you heat shrink it, seal it up, done. Your car is gonna read proper fuel level. That's it. Again, only four wires on the 9904 cars you gotta worry about. Leave the two large wires alone, the two small wires are for your level sender. Easy peasy. Moving on to our triple pump setup. This does not have a OEM style connector on it. Uh, we don't have one for it, but you can wire this up basically to uh, any triple pump setup. You can use it as a single pump, dual pump, or triple pump. Uh, it just depends on how many wires you actually wanna hook up to your uh, power distribution box here. Uh, this one, because it is a triple pump, the um, fusible link setup has three lugs on it and uh, three fusible links. Um, installs the same exact way, except goes wire connected directly to wire on the fuel hat of your choice. All right. Um, also, some people ask questions about, uh, I only want to run two pumps. I don't want to run that third pump. Okay, not a problem with this setup. You can do that. As I was mentioning, your trigger wires here, this has three relays, so we're using three trigger wires to trigger those. On two of them, you hook up full time, and then you can put a hob switch basically in between uh, on that third wire there for whatever boost you want it to come in at. So the two wires are gonna run full time when you put the key on. When the hob switch sees whatever boost you get the hob switch for, it will allow power to pass through it and to the pump. That easy. There you have it. Guys, don't call me anymore, really. I I'm over it. Nah, no, really, honestly. You can call me, all right? But I hope I cleared it up for everyone. Thank you. Hey guys, Kara from Lisa Performance here. Still got that list from seventh grade, but I'm gonna try and do this for you guys. Marty! <laughs> Don't clip the red wire! Ah! <laughs>